It's Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 1079 at home for the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Well, of course, you know it's your fault, B High Radio Shouty. Stepping in the building, I got my West Side partner in this thing, Curtis Snow. What's good with it, boss? Hey, man. What's happening, partner? Hey, Let's man. get it. Feeling good, feeling great, man. Appreciate you coming through this thing to kick a little flay tonight, though, boy. Oh, man, the pleasure. You already know, baby. I'm talking about uh, it's, a, it's a treat when players meet. You know that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, but let's take it from the top, though, Kurt. I mean, you know, one day you're getting busy in the bluff. The next day you're a household name, though. Like, I can't say I was no overnight sensation because I had been doing my thing, but I was low, low key. Yeah. And I ain't had no front man. I ain't had nobody to say, you know, to present me to them folk. Yeah. And I had to fight my way to them folk for yeah. real. <laughs> I, you know what I mean? Messed around and caught up with them folks on my own and bam. Yeah. Yeah. But, but you know, I ain't know what I was doing. Like I say, on my own. Yeah. I ain't know I had to have the lawyers and all these folk right here, they paperwork and all that there. And they didn't tell me that I needed all that. You know, they ain't going to tell you if you got a hit. Yeah. If they draw to tell you, oh, that's really ain't what it. But we'll, yeah. Yeah. And boom. But I learned from a lot of mistakes. I ain't built up about nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, um, I'm glad to still be here. You know what I mean? I, I, I got passion for my work. So I ain't give up on it. I had plenty of those slamming my face way before that. Of course. But when I figured out the game, you know, it was like, oh, man. But it'll come again, you know, yeah. but. I just got to, you know, keep my passion and just, you know, stay working, man. That's it. Yeah. What was it like putting that snow in the bluff out the first go round, man, and just shooting that thing? And where did the concept come from to begin with, though? It was like we used to have a CB radio, you know, like like it was like a CB, but it was like a, a police scanner. Yeah. And, you know, we had a, a eyewitness new camera, one of them big cameras that, with the videotape. Yeah. And me and my brother, we used to have a scanner, and we would hear house fires or shootings or something. And we was like almost showing up on scenes before the police get there. Oh man! But we were listening to this scam. They ain't know that until yeah. they caught on some haters hate it. But anyway, so we were like, boom! All the footage we had, we used to just look at it and laugh about it. And I caught up with a, a, a good friend of my sister one day, and they said, "Man, we can put something together, man. You know, I ain't we know that about no editing. We yeah. know about none of that." Man, and that nigga said, oh, "Hey, man, I know these folks, man. Yeah, you know I mean, Mike can just boom." And they put us in the room. We talked to the folks. They're like, "Well, just let's see what you." You know can do and you know you remember um band from tv yeah you remember uh they used to have all kind type of crazy that was so gruesome that yeah. you, i'm gonna show so they're like we're gonna see if y'all if y'all get something like that we're gonna put y'all on so we came to them folk with some real fights and some yeah. real deal where a nigga get blast yeah they're like no 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 how y'all get this yeah it was too much for us did what y'all ask for yeah so they were like boom we tried them again and they're like well let's put a little spin on it yeah make it look real yeah but it's gonna be like you know, yeah. so they put their little spin on it, and we did our thing, and man, Snow and Bluff was born. See that? Yeah. See that? What was going through your mind, though, when y'all put it out? Did you think that it was going to take off like it did? If I would have knew that, man, you wouldn't be sitting right here. I'd be <laughs> on the beach, in K, in great. You probably would have heard of it and said, that nigga that will be in there overnight for real. Yeah. Yeah. But I, you know, you know, like that. That's where that school part for the came in for me. Yeah, I probably would have, you know, did the school part. I would have knew this. Yeah, you know what I mean. That I ain't for to talk to these folk without no real paperwork. You know yeah. that there, but that's the way it go. Yeah, but I was still blessed, you know, to, you know, I I wanted the money so bad. I, I prayed to God. I said, God, I don't want no fame. I don't want to be fame. I want the money. Fucked around and got the fame. <laughs> Before I can get the money, I'm like, I don't want to be fame no more. I can't even sit down at Burger King and eat a dinner or a breath with my son without somebody saying, hey, let me get a picture. Yeah. Or, hey, oh, yeah. And I'm like, hey, hold up, bro. You don't see me? I ain't seen my son in two years. I'm trying to talk to this man. They be like two weeks ago. Some folk like, hey, uh, hold on. But, yeah. you know, it's my job. I can say, oh, man, fuck y'all. I, I had to be like, oh, man, yeah, bro. You know, and now, like, it don't bother me because they're my job. Yeah, I mean, I asked for it. Watch what you asked for. It just might come. Exactly. I mean, how did the hood respond to it, though? Because, I mean, you slick. Put the bluff on the map, period, point blank. In real life, niggas know, like, the bluff and Vine City is the same at the same time. But I'm originally from Vine City. That's just on another side of the street. Yeah. You know I mean, yeah. real talk. But nigga want to say, oh, you from the Okay, Bill. <laughs> when I came to the bluff, the bluff brought me pleasure and pain because I got more money than I was getting in Vine City in the bluff, but I also lost my brother in the bluff. You know what I mean? Man. So I was like, oh, man. But at the same time, you know, hey, life went on, and I progressed to be like, oh, man. I did get some good out of the situation, but 
it wasn't nothing but a reenactment of real life situations. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, none of that, no, none of that. That was debt for real. Yeah. You know what I mean? We just couldn't put that real deal with, you know, and these real deal, you know, minutes or moments how it happened. But yeah, it was me, and that's my real story in yeah. real life. I put it on everything. What was the craziest stuff that you saw, though, after the movie dropped? Because I know folks was running up to you just going crazy every time they saw you. Everybody know me. It's like I'm a movie star. Man, these folks think I'm a movie star. I'm like, man, what? And I, oh, man, I'm talking about folks really like, hey, man, I'm talking about. Man, we in Alabama. We did a little show, blah, blah, blah. You know, man, them folks were like, this is bro trying to grab me off stage. Yeah. Like, really. I'm like, they really like, boy, yeah, they might try to grab you. I'm like, Curtis, no, man, we love you, man. You a role model to so goddamn blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm looking at it like, well, these folks got to be. But you know, Blase, I had never seen that. And yeah. then I was like, these folks can't think. And then when I, I was like, I'm in 40 states and three countries. Not even trying to be. Yeah. You know what I mean? I ain't really travel nowhere. You know what I mean? My boy took me to Cali. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, I went to Utah. But that's about it. Yeah. But yeah, nigga watching me in Australia, Africa, well, nigga might walk up from anywhere. I'm like, but yeah, we, we, we know you. Now, I know you got down with my boy Fig, man. How did that relationship come about? Man, you ever met a real nigga through a hater? Hey. Or either you ever <laughs> met a nigga through somebody where you and the nigga who you met him through, y'all done fell out. Yeah. But you and the nigga who, y'all, y'all the best of friends. It be like that's that. How we met. Yeah. A nigga tried to play fig on the, I know it, hit, but it gonna cost to get him. Oh. Yeah, I mean, play that game all the way to the teeth. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Come to me, I'm like, I don't know, feed from a can of paint, this nigga screaming, oh, this nigga with some money. Yeah. Bring him. We deep down in the depths. Ain't no nigga even to come this far, so it got me for real. I'm like, whoever yeah. he is, they say, well, yeah. So he ran the corner. Oh, he, he traveled this far, and he? He in the building? Yeah. Okay, let me meet this nigga. He got to be, if you want to meet me, because I'm dead ass for real. I could just up and, oh, yeah, whoever you is, I don't give a fuck. I want you to know I yeah. robbed you. You know how I many people love for me to rob them? <laughs> yeah, I got white people who love for me to rob them. Please rob me, Kurt. <laughs> so yeah, when I met that nigga, that nigga was straight up. Hey, once said, but this nigga just like me. Mm. It wasn't no, oh man. He was like, hey man, I'm doing my thing. Hey, what's going on with you? Oh shit, what's up with you? You know what I mean? But, oh shit, bro, do what I try. Oh, it ain't them. But eh, eh, eh. I was like, oh, I like that nigga style. <laughs> yeah, you don't came this far. Yeah, we negotiating and going through all that bullshit. Exactly. And the nigga who introduced me to him, like, yeah, you chump. This is the nigga I've been missing. Exactly. You keeping me from this nigga. You know how that go? That middleman gang. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, but the best thing ever happened to me. I mean, y'all yeah, I mean, real talk, up. my partner. Y'all booming in the hood, though, with that trap flicks, though. Oh, man, I'm talking about for real, for real. And, you know, we just, like, it's like, we sat down one day. You know what I mean? You know, goddamn Netflix tricked me out of $5 million. I'm mad for you, like, man, yeah, I'm mad about that shit, too. You know what I mean? <laughs> and he, like, just, you know what I mean? You know, we were just getting to know each other. Like, okay, I got something already cooking, man. Yeah. We finna goddamn, they gonna be for... You know the, if you can't get your movie on Netflix, because you know Netflix, them was, you gotta have this blurred out, you gotta do, it's so many regulations or whatever, yeah. then when you do do all that, they gonna try to offer you a little bit of old money, you know what I mean, and bam. Be like, okay, then we gonna do, we gonna open up another shop right next door to them. Hey, that's right. Yeah, and we accept whatever movie. <laughs> yeah, if you did it yourself, we love it. Come on with us. Yeah, and boom, real talk. Already. That real talk. Being out here in the streets with this notoriety and this fame, now who are some of the people that you came across that you didn't even realize that they knew who you was, but when you met them, they were like, hey, man, I'm a fan of the work. Man, a couple guys, like, like, I'm from the west side or whatever, you know what I mean, in a real life situation, blah, 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 and I'm everywhere, and they can't say, he can't see me nowhere because I really do be in these places. Uh, I met T.I., yeah. you know, and I, I had heard of him, like, hey, you know, blah, 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 but I had never met him, like, hey, boom. Yeah. When he came to me, like, hey, man, shit, man, you know, my whole family, oh, we watch the movies, sit down, like, you know, just like you watch him, I'm like, he bullshit. The man, dead for real. <laughs> yeah, they, exactly. they, they saying, you know, quoting, blah, blah, yeah. blah, like, they for real. <laughs> and man, I was like, okay, man, and then, I, you know, it went on from there, Trinidad James, you know, like, yeah. P.O.B., I'm talking about, uh, you know, and niggas like, man, we still gonna watch this three and four times, you know what I mean, back to back, you know what I mean? I'm thinking he's just saying that because you know nigga right there. Yeah. I might say anything, just make it, uh, he can't impress me in no kind of way. Yeah. Yeah, so when when I was like, he need that for real. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, 
I, I just, you know, had to be like, man, I fuck with these boys. Like, I've been knowing them for 20, 30 years. You yeah. know what I mean? You know, the, the chemistry that I had with niggas who I thought was arrogant. I nigga like, I yeah. want to meet these niggas. Because I'm dead for real, bro. Yeah. Y'all niggas look at me in the kind of way. I, I get fame for real by robbing <laughs> your ass for real. And like, oh, yeah. I don't know. You ain't gonna never find me in the bluff, and I ain't going and leaving out the bluff. You ain't yeah. coming down, and I ain't going to your city. So yeah, you know that's you know what's that? <laughs> I could definitely dig that. Now I know y'all do a lot of good work in the community though too, as far as just helping out the people and showing love, man. I mean, tell me a little bit about that, man. Like in real life, mm -hmm. what goes up must come down. Hey, you know, and there's a lot of people left the hood and say, yeah, look at me now. Blah, 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 and then had to come back and face the same folk. They're like, that, that, that can't be you, the yeah. billionaire. <laughs> like you got, you know what I mean? And boy, they don't get no respect. A lot of niggas ain't welcome back to their hood and that. Yeah. You didn't show no love at all. Yeah. Okay, a little love now is something. Um, I'm talking about a little. Yeah. Nigga, we yeah. show big love. Yeah. More than enough. Well, nigga be like, who was that? Don't yeah. worry about it. But at the same time, we know where we came from. We'll never forget that. Exactly. If it wasn't for them, it probably wouldn't be no us. Yeah. And the same folk who still, yeah, you know I mean, we we still in the struggle. So you like, we done dipped up. Yeah, I'm straight now. So boo, I can boo y'all. No, nah, we still in the same mood. Yeah. But I just, God bless me, you know, with a blessing to put me a little bit, you know, in another position. Yeah. I ain't better than nobody. I ain't dipped or nothing. But, you know, they chance coming. If, yeah. you know, they handle the business like it for to be, you know, and live righteous or whatever. But at the same time, we show love. And we don't ask for nothing back, but we don't got no sponsors. Yeah. But none of that. I'm saying it come really in real life from yeah. straight up. Yeah, you know I mean. And it's like we 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 all we want is the people to be like, hey, that was a good nigga. You know yeah, what I mean. They don't owe us then. Yeah. Ain't no we come to get no recognition or nigga be like, oh yeah, we did this. Now we're gonna go somewhere in front or try to get or tell the nigga, oh yeah, you see what we did. Oh hell no. Nah. It's yeah. niggas who you know, got all the dope and the bricks or whatever in the world to spell and won't even give these folk nanny and done got their hood shot up, done got people killed or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what niggas in, in project complex as well, they for to be the man or whatever and they do certain slime shit or whatever, then they come back looking for them, shoot up the pipe, man, he's not out there, but he got a whole lot of children. Yeah. Kill one of them or whatever, but he don't come forth and say, oh, they was looking for me. Yeah. That's why them folk got killed. Yeah. And you know, it happens all the time, niggas just stand back <laughs> yeah, won't say man. But yeah, really who getting the money and draining the hood from the money. We don't need to do that. We give back. We don't do no draining. And we don't say no dope. What is it that keeps you so humble though? Because you know, a lot of time coming out of the hood, when you get that attention on a worldwide level and folks is going crazy and treating you like a rock star, it's hard for folks to maintain that humility and be like, "Hey, man, I'm still the same OG." Like in real life, yeah. I really ain't. Grabbed it and just you know that moment and captured like, oh, I'm gonna start for real, but yeah, you know I mean, yeah, I mean like, <laughs> two parts. Okay, film. I can never just be like, see, something happened to me that I wouldn't have never thought, but I dreamed of. Uh, you know, I ain't never think it. I see a nigga right there, yo, yeah, he'll be more likely to get down. You know I mean, yeah, he's doing his thing. He going to college. Yeah. Trying. I just walked out the door one day and God damn it, there it go. And I took the opportunity, but my grandma used to tell me, hey, they'll come in threes. And we used to see, you know, somebody down this side of the family or somebody down, your cousin, them, and then they folk from down the street. And like, oh, double three, boom. Yeah. When Dev hit me in threes in real life, my brother on Monday, my mom on Wednesday, my brother on Friday, I said, God damn, you know, you can't question God. No. So I'm like, God damn. One thing we can do is just handle it. Yeah. That day I'm like, okay, whatever come out, I'm just gonna handle it. Whatever it is, we just gonna goddamn it go this way or that way. Ain't no in between. And you know, the blessings I've been getting, you know, I just been handling. Yeah. You know what I mean, just going along with it. Like, okay, well, you I'm gonna start. Okay, but I'll be one. Oh, hey, how y'all doing? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, uh, y'all need to stay in school. You know, whatever it comes, yeah, I mean, bam. Yeah. I mean, and I just go along with the flow, man, and just be like, Take the good with the bad. Know it could be worse. Yeah. Know people who going through something that's worse. Yeah. Uh, I'd be like, thank God I ain't worried myself to death for. I ain't got no seven, eight children running around. I don't know where they eat. I mean, <laughs> hell. No. I've been worried myself to death. Now, when that movie dropped, though, man, and then you turned around and got hit with the box cutter, though, man. 
Tell and me this, about that. It was like, like I had a partner. His name David Kim. I love that nigga. I hope he's listening. He should be like, hey, girl, man, I got you. Uh, you know, I don't try to sell no dope or nothing like that, boom, boom. And I said, hey, Dave, in real life, Georgia Power is going to cut these lights off. <laughs> we don't got this money. If you saying, yo, yo you going to take me and these folks want to do all this, man, to that come, these folks want their money. Yeah. What I'm going to do in between time? Yeah, me and him just always get the argument about that. So yeah. I should be like, hey, man. And he should be like, man, just wait. Boom. I'm in a deal. It's the first. Like, goddamn. I mean, you know, I used to credit, you know, such, such, whatever. Yeah. Uh, dude stay upstairs from me. He like, uh, boom, boom, in debt, like 600 some dollars, but he owe a couple more people. Yeah. Okay, if he owe me $600 and his check ain't number $1,200, and he owe all the other people, somebody ain't going to get paid. Yeah. So I need to be there when, you know, he boom. He so come in with the check. Okay, yeah. boom. He's in the house, whatever. Nigga tell me, hey, you done went. You need to go up there. It's five more drug dealers. Right there, like, hey, baby, somebody can get paid. <laughs> hey, what's happening with your baby? I'm drunk, been up all night tripping, man. And the nigga was a good nigga, man, but I, I overreacted, and the whole situation was really on me, man. And the man, you know, he just defended himself in so many words. Yeah. And him being, they say a scared person to kill you. Yeah. And they were scared to death and goddamn it, I'm talking to them to death. We fall down like 16 steps. I don't know he even hit me with the box cutter because, you know, it's a brand new radar thing so smooth. So yeah. We see the blood, the crowd like, yeah. Crowd thinking it's him bleeding. And we get up, it's me. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> well, I'm down there. Ew, ew. <laughs> yeah. Look at this shit. I can't believe it. God, right then, I was an inch from right there. I started. I would have bled death and died in real life. What was going through your mind when you survived that, though, man? Because, I mean, so many others didn't survive them when kind I, of situations. When I thought about it, I said, I was in the hospital, and I had, like, three warrants. So I had them gave them my brother name, so I wake up from the medicine. Okay, boom. But the first thing in my mind, but let me get the hell out of that hospital. <laughs> so, God damn, I boogie out of the hospital, you know, get back to the house now. Let me remind you, they got the staples in the neck, but... I wasn't able to sit for, you know, the, you know, the rest of the medication after, you know, you get in the hospital and they you go to the pharmacy, this is yeah. going to help you through that. I wasn't able to deal with that, and I need some power for five minutes. So when I get to the house, nigga, I'm in so much pain. I, I'm talking about for like, for like a week, I was in the street, taking pain, wanted to kill myself, taking any kind of medicine just to try to, you know what I mean, boom, boom, yeah. you know what I mean? And, and it had my whole head swollen up so bad, but... I can go back to the hospital because I already knew when the DNA came back. Yeah. They said, I made my brother. I would have been going to jail too. Then once they would have told a real story, uh, I done barged in these folks' house and so many words. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, hey, give me my money. Yeah, I mean, the drug was, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but thank God. But it's a God for real, for real. Exactly. Going through all of the experiences that you done been through, man, what is some of the stuff that you done learned about life just in general that you care to share? Oh man, uh, <clears throat> in real life, shit, you can't expect to die right if you living wrong. Hey. And goddamn it, uh, what goes around comes around real fast now. Don't take no two, three months of years. You walk right out and get ran over by a car, bullshit. Yeah. And treat people how you really want to be treated in real life. You know what I mean? Because when they boil down and you do something to, you know, like, Everybody is somebody, family, or something. So whoever you're yeah. to, there's somebody, mama, there's somebody, there's somebody, somebody. So, you know, hey, if you got people and you know, hey, if your folk was out there or uh, they needed something, you want somebody to help them, you know, help a motherfucker if you can and just try to, you know, go with the flow, man, and just see what's up because, you know, life too sharp in real life. That's right. That's right. Now, I know you were saying that, you know, you walked out the house one day and you was a superstar. And you said you never expected that for yourself. So for you to experience that, man, I mean, take me through that whole transition. Because, I mean, when you in the hood doing what you do, you know it's everyday life and every day is every day. You see what I'm saying? And you see the sports on TV. Yep. You know the celebrities. You Watch know them every you, day. You, you, said you see that, but you ain't never really thinking you're going to experience that. I only had dreams of it. Yeah. All that. I never just thought me. 
Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, because I hadn't seen so many people work for this shit so hard. Yeah. And so many partners who got them had songs and, you know, done wrote music from day one and, you know, they wanted to rap or whatever. But I was like, I ain't never put my all in shit. I'm like, if it do, if it do, it no, no, I don't give a fuck. They know it's so <laughs> me. I'm going back to what I was doing if this shit don't work or if it do. Yeah. So, film. When I, I seen so many people in their all and shit, and shit I'm like, man, yeah, no, because I ain't even to be disappointed. If and then when I seen doors get slammed, they face they just like this shit could take it. I'm like, man, come on, man. Try something else. Yeah. Man, boom, boom. And I always knew, but I already had a backup plan if it don't work on that one. Yeah. I done been kicked out of so many rap groups. Always, you know, like when you were 16, everybody ran like, but we finna be yeah. good tomorrow, but it was yeah. five of us. <laughs> so them five niggas. When shit bought out, just you and the other niggas. You really were putting the money this down. Yeah. And now you like, hey, but he running out of money. <laughs> You got there, can't stay out of jail. Yeah, you know I mean, I went through all that shit. You yeah, know what I mean, and I was like, oh man, and and I never would have thought that. That yeah, you know I mean, it would have, they would have jumped. I knew the rap wasn't finna do nothing. But how do you feel too when you see that stardom and you just being yourself though? You see what I'm saying? Cause see, a lot of folks got to be a character. Yeah. To get there. Yeah. But when I, you just living your life and to find out that your regular everyday life was made of what it, it was that it that folks is looking for. How did you feel about that? I felt, I felt that right because like majority of the people who don't know me, they yeah. have something good to say about me. Like if you look on my what's name, whatever, it ain't too much negative shit. They probably like, hey, though, too, with all, all niggas, I need the hell on. Exactly. You know I mean, but other than that, it ain't too much negative talk. You know what I mean, it's, hey, man, we like what you're doing, and they know I'm a real person. Um, Boys, the respect, uh, I I got respect for the street and the people, and they yeah. know that. So, yeah. you know what I mean? Boom. You know, you can't have respect for nobody else. You ain't got respect for yourself. Yeah. I got respect, the utmost respect for myself. So, I got respect for the street, you know, my elder children, anything like that. You know what I mean? And, like I say, I treat people the way I want to be treated in real life. You know what I mean? Because I know people who just treat people bad because they, they can't say yeah. things, you know, mean to people because they can't. You know what I mean? And, you know, it the world today for real, for real. It, it, it's default for real, for real, man. It's dog eat dog. So, like, when I got an opportunity to to for people to be like in real life, like they overwhelmed about some, and I can be like, he's faking it. Yeah. And then my brother be like, no, he did that for real. Like, no, that nigga bullshit. Yeah, like, no, that nigga for real. Yeah. There's no man, we love you, man. Can I get a picture with you? I'm gonna send this to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? something like that. I be like, man, these folks really, you know what I mean, but. At the same time, I know they done seen it somewhere, or uh, you know they know somebody, you know, it uh, from my you know character or standard yeah. or however you know. But I, I I can tell the 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 people who been there and done that, and I can tell the fakes. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, it's just simply that. And the real people, you know what I mean, they show me love. You know what I mean, one of the things that I loved about the movie, cause when I saw it, it felt good to hear somebody talking. Like how I talk represent Atlanta. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, because really sometimes Atlanta. you see what I'm saying? Cause it's yep. a few different ones. Miami, so Atlanta, exactly. Atlanta. Come on, yeah, a Holly Atlanta. So ain't, ain't hating us in it, but come yeah, on. It, it just, that's where it is. So when I looked at that, me and my wife were sitting down watching it and we just we loved it. Yeah. We loved it. Yeah. So when I looked at that, me and my wife were sitting down watching it, and we just we loved it because we could relate to, to it. it. When you come from the hood, it's a real hood story. The and conversation, the lingo, is what is being heard. They're gonna be pointing. We understand you. everything that's being said oh, and real. everything Nobody that's going on. Shit, Come y'all. on, man. Come <laughs> yeah. on. Yeah. So to see it on the big screen like that and do what it do, that felt good and it gave a sense of pride. But also, you exposed and showed a real part of Atlanta that other folks might never get a chance to see, other than the uh Bentleys and the uh Rolls Royces. You like, see what I'm saying? Folks want to know what's really going on in the city, too. A nigga, a nigga from out of town at me one time. Like, I was locked up. I was in rice school. He was like, hey, so what's up with the skating ring or something like that? So I was like, what? He's like, oh, yeah, man. Y'all be out there going to this. So he's like, oh, yeah, the movie ATL. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, no, bro. We just go to the skating ring to rob niggas. <laughs> <laughs> we went in our skate. We went on the come about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's the only reason I ever went to Gaddison 5000 or anything, you know, back in. And you know, back in, 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 and you know, the movie, you know that uh, I ain't hating on it now. Little T.I. fuck with him, man. But I'm just saying the movie, the ATL, it gave the people who really look for a perspective on how it going to ATL 
He gave him that perspective. He for yeah. skating in the high school, the skating ring. Your mama come up there, crazy the hell. Man, please. But you know, hey, it's all love, man. I can definitely dig that. Nah. But it just, I put out, let them folks know, hey, this is how it really go. Yeah. So if you come out through that plan, if you don't skate, yeah. You're you you going to be running for your life. Yeah, you don't need to skate. <laughs> plan. In real life. I can definitely dig that. Mm-hmm. Now, Kurt, anything else you want to get off your chest, man? I know you and Fig going crazy with the trout flicks. Talk to me. Yeah, man, we just, you know, working like, you know, we working like a dog, man. It's been a hard day's night. And yeah. I've been working like a dog, for real. But, yeah, man, we just, you know, trying to stay independent. You know what I mean? Keeping our head above water, you know what I mean? Keeping our praises due to our law, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, just staying humble and, you know, Watching the surrounding because you know a lot of people, you know, Tupac told they gonna hate you for whatever you do. Hey, you know what I mean? Haters, oh man, why y'all man? And then a, a hater nigga who fought the been back, who fought been our role model. So fit man, why you keep on helping these poor folk? <laughs> yeah, he heard me say that. He heard, he let me hear him tell fit that they folk been the rich nigga who we fucking with on the tour. Nigga say, yo, fit man, you keep on helping out these poor folk, nigga, you gonna be broke or some shit like that. I'm like, See, no. oh, yeah, but it's a nigga like that. Who, yeah, and he going through some shit right now. Yeah. I'm like telling a nigga, don't help no po folk. That's but what's wrong with it. folks, though, man. Because, see, my whole thing is it goes back to a slave mentality. You see what I'm saying? You want to keep somebody down instead of lifting folks up. But then you see somebody in the yes. business of lifting folks up, then you want to give them hell about yeah, helping you mad folks. with them. You yeah. mad with them. Yeah. Motherfucker hate you for whatever you do. Come on, man. We got to stop that. You know. In real life, exactly. We're trying to get somewhere because if Donald Trump get in that man, shit, you got to come with it. <laughs> real talk. The man yeah. telling you, you know, but but it could be like, like you have seen in a movie where they put one person up that to make you think that the bad guy for you to jump and say, no, not him, him. But yeah. that motherfucker worse than he was ever going to be. Yeah, we gotta watch for the hook for that president. Exactly. Man. Yeah. That's a no, exactly. not Donald Trump. Pick this nigga. And yeah. boy, he finna really do it. He about to do you. Yeah, yeah, but worse than Donald Trump. <laughs> you know, we're Trump. <laughs> talk. How can folks contact you though, Kurt? Oh man. I'm at I'm at Instagram. Uh I'm at MySpace, uh Facebook, Twitter, uh Real Curtis Snow. Um I'm 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 locally. You know, you probably just can ride through the hood. Yes, sir. Come around, just see me out there in real life because, you know, hey, I got an 86-year-old grandma who don't want to go nowhere. Oh, they ain't going, going nowhere. nowhere. They ain't yeah. going nowhere. So I'm not finna abandon her. Exactly. You know what I mean? So a nigga be like, why you still there? Because my grandma's still right there. Exactly. Yeah. And she been there 40 years. How you going to move somebody out the house? <laughs> 40 years. Come on, man. They ain't real trying life. to hear that. Period. They ain't trying real to hear talk. that. So, you know, hey. That's my reason for being in the hood when niggas be asking why. Well, yeah, that's my reason for being in the hood. And I still live in the hood. But yeah, man, uh, we just working, man, trying to stay positive. I can dig it. Kurt. Preach, man. My dog. Appreciate hey, man, you coming through this thing, part, man. Boy. I appreciate that little man in real life. 100. Real, my boy said, boy, stop bull jiving. Come on. <laughs> I can dig I it, man. Let's go, man. Wish you nothing but the best and much success. Man, I appreciate that little Be man. Be high radio, shout it. It's out 107.9, man. Let's go.